Okay, I guess I can try a different port. Let's try this one. Okay, well how about replacing the appraiser DLLs? Windows 10 installer image with the install ESD changed? Evidently, that's worse. There's gotta be another way. I can't give up yet. Wait, maybe I'm thinking about this the wrong way the whole time. I don't have any chalk, so I guess I just need something satanic. Wait, I got a better idea. So you guys know how we installed this operating system like less than a week ago? Well, this is our ticket, the Windows 11 VHD we installed onto. Upon further thinking, all we should really have to do is take the hard drive out, use a program called VHD2 Disk, image the hard drive, and then put it back in the computer. And it should theoretically... Aha! Now you might be wondering, Michael MJD has a method where you can just edit the USB installer image and then install it that way. And that seems a lot simpler and a lot easier, and to be honest, it is. I thought for the longest time that this was really the only way that you could do it. And I'm just a little bit late to the party. But that's not to say that this method doesn't have its uses. For instance, this is a 2006 Intel iMac. Because of its age, it refuses to boot anything other than Mac OS X from USB, and its 32-bit EFI makes it too nervous to boot from DVD. But yet, if we sneak around back and put this in, it kinda just... works. Now, of course, with its 2 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, 2 GB of RAM, and Intel GMA 945 graphics, well, yes, it runs, it doesn't exactly run well, but that was a given. It's not even really the point. I just find it fascinating to... Wait, what's that? You want to actually know how to do what I just did? Oh boy. First, you are going to need to find a SATA hard disk larger than 12 GB, which I dare you find one smaller than that, a SATA to USB adapter or a caddy, a Windows 11 VHD made in VirtualBox or friends, though keep in mind, don't install guest editions if using this method, they cause issues on real hardware, a computer running Windows 7, 10 has given me issues with DriveWriter software, so I'd recommend using 7. Speaking of which, a copy of VHD to disk. Now, with everything assembled, next you'll need to connect the hard drive to the computer. Press Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog, and type diskmgmt.msc. Find the disk you mean to erase, make sure you have the right one, because once you delete the partitions, the only person who can get your data back is God, which I haven't had much luck with that. Next, open VHD to disk and select VHD and target drive. As for the target, you might notice the drives are not human readable, which is fine, just cross-reference with disk management. Next, you're going to want to click the adequately named VHD to disk button, and then find something to do with yourself for the next 10 to 15 minutes, which is just enough time to join the Discord server in the description. Or if that's not your forte, then just enough time to do more questionable acts as well. Like, um, oh hey, it's done! Next, you guessed it, reinsert the hard thing into the target computer. Power the machine on, and hopefully you should be greeted with the Windows 11 desktop. So that should tell you everything you need to know to install Windows 11 using this method. If you liked the video, there's a button for that. If you didn't, don't worry, I also don't. But regardless, thank you so very much for watching. See you chaps in the next one. Bye!